Hey everybody, Austin here. So I wanted to do a quick video going over hotkeys. This is a topic I see a lot in, in Saturday Q&As and I get asked a lot personally about hotkeys. And before I get started, I just gotta say I am not registered, I'm not licensed, I'm not a financial advisor. None of what I say should be taken as investment advice even if it sounds like it on this video or, or any of my videos. Anyway, yeah, hotkeys. So I use them a lot in my trading and I use them primarily in two out of the three facets of trading. So I use them for my entries. Most of the time, I'd say like 95% of my entries are through hotkey and about 100% of my stops are through hotkeys. I, I rarely, rarely, rarely ever put a stop in and wait for that stop to get hit. I hit the button when it, my stop hits and that's it. So for entries and stops, I'm always using hotkeys. For um, profit taking, ideally that's the part you're gonna to get to on every trade, right? For profit taking, my orders are normally out there waiting to be uh, waiting to be hit. So at two out of three, I'm always using hotkeys and I, I, I don't use hotkeys a lot for profit taking unless I cancel an order and, and I wanna get some out right then and there. You know, that's, um, if it's spiking and going parabolic, I'm like, oh crap, I gotta take some off like right now. That's, you know, I'll do that, you know, if I, if, I, if I wasn't ready, if I didn't have, if I didn't have a key already in. And honestly, I think that's exactly what happened with OCX. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, let's, let's get to it. So I took a picture of my keyboard just now, and I use the Corsair, I think it's like the K95 something. Uh, or something like that, but it has this row of 18 hotkeys, which is is God to me. This my life. I, I love this keyboard. Like I'm not I, I'm not sponsoring or anything, but this keyboard I love it. So anyway, I separate. Um, so this is where I I would say most of my hotkeys are taking place where I enter. And I want to get um, this out of the way first. Uh, when I say hotkeys, I don't mean like the typical like you know the the stigma attached market order hot button or hot key or you know you hit the button and you're in it doesn't matter what price you're in it you know you just get in and you get out like you know like where I don't know furus will tell you to uh, I use hotkeys because it's faster to get in I mean I do use hotkeys because they're faster but all of mine are limit orders none of my hotkeys are ever a market order because I care uh, what price I get in you know it's not random so you'll see here, um, I have three different tiers, the one through six, seven through 12, and 13 through 18. And these hotkeys um, are se separated in tiers of size. So all of the reds are shorts and all of the greens are, are buys or sells and buys. And the top, um, like, so my G1 key is 50 shares. 50 shares, G2 is 100 shares, and G3 is 300. And underneath this is 50, 100, and 300. Um, these are these are for sells and these are for buys and so like these are what I use for large cap trading or like if I want to trade Amazon or something um, and my next tier below is uh, G7 is 500 shares uh, G8 is a thousand shares and G9 is 2,000 shares and G, G10 is the same 500 1,000 and 2,000 here at G12 and so um, one thing to and G I'll just go through G13 is 1,000 uh, G14 is 2,500 and G15 is 5,000. So, um, and one thing to note with all of these is all of these red, all of these red um, hotkeys, these red buttons are tied to the bid and all of the green hotkeys are limit orders tied to the ask. And so if I hit G8, that is a 1,000 share sell or short tied to the bid. So uh, the G8, if I hit one, if I hit G8, it's going to send a 1,000 share limit order to sell three cents below the bid. That's what I do. I always do three cents below uh, or above for the asks. So, and I do that because a lot of when I what I do is I short breakdowns or I buy breakouts. And so when I need to get in or get out, I need to get filled. And a lot of these times where I'm getting in, it's like they're about to break, they're about to spike high of day, or they're about to tank. And, and I, you know, I don't want to short at five, get like five shares filled and, you know, watch it tank without me. I'm okay with 498 and 499 and 497. I'm okay with, you know, that's essentially the same for me. Also, like when I want to get out of a position, I don't care, you know, if I get out a few cents later, it's better than not getting filled at all. So 
that's one thing. That's one very key element about my hotkeys. They're all the the short slash cells are all tied to the bid, and the and the the green the buys or covers are all tied to the ask. So like if I want to buy 300 shares um, of Apple, you know, if I'm buying a breakout on Apple, I'm going to hit G6 for 300 shares. And um, it's going to be the ask plus 0.03. Now for Apple, it might actually, I might still not get that fill because that's a very uh, high price range. But, um, you know, I, it's going, if I want to buy a hundred dollar breakout on Apple, then I am going to, it's going to send a 300 share order to buy at 103 cents. Um, Makes sense. So I have a three cent cushion on all, on all of my hotkeys over here on the left. And I also have a couple random hotkeys too. So in, in my keyboard, Control X is a cancel order. So like I said, if, if, if a stock is going parabolic and I just bought a $5 breakout and I put an order, a manual order to sell at like 545 to sell before 550 resistance, but it's starting to get stuffy at $5.30 and I'm afraid it's going to, I'm afraid it's gonna to, to stuff here then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control X that's going to cancel the order that I just the sell that I just put at 545 and what I can do instead is just hit one of these hotkeys to sell my position you know I can hit um, whatever size I'm in I can hit one of these hotkeys to sell it right then and there so that's the rare time where I will use a hotkey to take profit but normally all of my profit taking orders are manually put in and I'm waiting Another random one is control O. Now this is control out for me. It means GTFO, liquidate all positions and 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 GT and GTFO. It gives me a lot of comfort knowing that I have this key whenever I need to in case anything goes bad and and I you know I come back to my computer, I have to go into the bathroom or something and an offering hit on a couple of my positions or I don't know, you know, I know that I can get out immediately. It's going to liquidate my it's going to liquidate my account. Uh, another one that I have uh, is um, you'll notice that the control and alt are different colors. Um, this is because I have a separate hotkey system over here with, on my number pad. Now I use I only use the first four keys. Um, the one I treat these as fractions. One, two, three, and four. I treat this as one hundred percent. One over one. One. The two is like a fifty percent. One over two. The three is a third. One over three. And the fourth is a fourth. One over four. So these count as 100, uh, 50, uh, 33.3, and 25% of my position. So um, the control is a buy order, and the alt is a sell order. And I, the way I remember this is control for cover. They both start with C. Um, so if I want to, if I'm short a stock and it just tanked hard, like an offering happened, and it just tanked, if I want to cover half of my position immediately, then I will hit control 2. And that will put a hover order or a buy order out for half, 50% of my position. Or if I only wanted to cover a quarter, I would hit Control Four, and it would, and it would cover, and it would send a buy order out um, tied to the ask uh, plus 0.03. Actually, I think my number pads are uh, plus 0.05 to be ultra safe. Um, but I will put a cover order out for 25% of my position by hitting Control Four, 25. 25% of my position is gone. Another way um, I do this is if I want to double. So like, let's say I'm in a stock, I bought some dips, and it's about to break out the low that I really care about, and I want to double my position. If I have a position on, and I hit Control-1, that's going to buy, essentially, 100% of my position. So if I'm like in 1,000 shares, if I hit Control-1, it's going to send a 1,000 share order to make to get myself up to 2,000 shares. Some, you know, something like that. So, and the same way for, for, for alt, you know, for selling. If I'm short and I want to double, I hit alt one and I'll double my position, you know, assuming I have the locates. Uh, or, you know, if I want to, if, if I'm long a stock and it just went parabolic and, and I, don't, I don't have orders out and I want to sell some, I might hit alt three and that's going to immediately sell a third of my position. And they're all limit orders tied to, you know, tied to the bids and asks. It's very important. I don't have any market order hotkeys. You know, I care about the, the 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 fill now normally like i've never had a problem ever getting a like you know sometimes i get fat fingers you know and in the time when you hit the button 
and from when the order actually gets executed that tiny window sometimes the, the ask might change if you're trying to buy a breakout like if you're trying to buy a breakout at five the ask in that sometimes it's so fast or if you hit it sometimes the ask move to like 506 and like so then your order is going out for 509 that's a risk i do take and you know i risk fat fingering some stuff it happens it's very rare um normally i get pretty decent fills this way uh Anyway, that's that. That's most of my hotkeys right there. Oh, I also have a couple more that I can show you. My F keys uh, cycle through different time frames. So, for example, like you know, like I can hit you know my day chart. You know, this goes to a minute, a five minute, a day. I can cycle through different um, time frames if I want to. That's a quick hotkey that I use. But anyway, that's most of my hotkeys. And now let's go over an example of how to make one. So it all starts from this hot ski, hotkey script builder. So I go to the order script wizard, I type in a name, and this is gonna be an example, let's say we're going to buy 1,000 on the ask. So, and I, and the, I want the hotkey to be F10, uh, example. So first I'm gonna hit buy on the side, share, I'm gonna hit 1,000. Symbol, if you leave it blank, it'll work for any symbol that you click in on your montage. And that's very important. All these hotkeys will work for all montages, but it will only work um, uh, one montage at a time the montage that you most recently clicked on so if it's active it'll work and all your hotkeys will work in that uh, montage the price I want to tie it to the ask so I want to be able to buy a stock with three with three cents wiggle room the account I'm pretty sure you have to put the account I'm not going to click down here for obvious reasons I don't want to show my account numbers but the route you can choose from a number of routes I normally use limit or ARCA is a safe one Actually, it's better ARCA L, ARCA limit. Um, the TIF, I always put day plus. I think this allows pre-market trading. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it does. Show quantities if you want to hide uh, any bit of your size. I don't really care about that. Um, the mode, if you hit load, it'll when you hit the hotkey, it'll load it into your montage, but the order won't get sent, I'm pretty sure. So I always do all of mine as load and send, which means that um, your order will actually get sent into the market. And the minimum... I, I don't care what the minimum of the order I get. If it goes so fast and I only get a few, hey, at least I got a few. I don't like to pick all or none, so I always pick any. That means I don't care if any of my position fills. I want at least any of them to fill. Uh, and then you hit build script, and it's going to show me here, look, like account is not defined in this script because I didn't click it because I don't want to for the video. But anyway, and then so here's your script, and it should be valid. Uh, when you hit F10, you're going to, um, the montage that you're clicked and you're going to buy a thousand shares with the limit the, the 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 limit price is going to be ask plus 0.03 whatever the ask is at the time that you hit the button plus 0.03 plus three cents so anyway that's that's how i've made all of my hotkeys is through this hot screen script builder hotkey script builder and if you have any other if you have any questions please feel free to, to ask um these are hotkeys that i find the most useful i use them every single day and um yeah cheers Aloha, have a great day